Welcome back, guys, to episode uh, five of uh, Cooking Companions. Guess what? Karen, I think, is next to us on our bed after we uh, locked her in the basement. So I don't know how the hell she got out, but I mean, let's just get into it. She says, wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, gosh. What a nice woman. Karen? Uh, just your imagination again. Karen can't still be alive, right? Oh, God. Somebody's at the door. You grip the doorknob tightly, getting ready for what's next. Oh, it's our boy Gregor. Shout out, Gregor. I can't be the real Gregor. You determine the haunt has officially begun. Some spirits move on immediately, others linger, and some, some stop at nothing to give you a heart attack, or get you to fall down a flight of stairs, or cause you to wander into an early demise, no way of knowing which one of, which one the group will choose. The rain has stopped outside, you decide to go look out the window. Bro, I helped Gregor out, bro, how could he do this to me? Oh. We just saw our girl Mariah. The floods are completely gone. Guys, the floods are gone, bruh. Karen would appreciate the good news, but not after locking her in the basement. No good reason to leave the cabin. Plenty of food here now. Of here. For here now, bro. Leave the fucking cabin! You're seeing shit, bro. You've been so busy, you've forgotten to eat. You head to the kitchen for a snack. Yeah, eat, bro. Then get the fuck out. Karen's hiding spot was too obvious. You take a few bites of meat. You lost some more of your humanity. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess since I'm eating fucking human, I'm... Yeah, not fresh enough. Oh well. You decide to crawl back to bed, into bed and get a little extra sleep? What? What the fuck? <laughs> 200,000, what the fuck's happening? You have a strange dream, the clouds have parted, the rain has gone away, you wake in a cold sweat. Oh my, the sun. Is this another trick or? Oh my, you love to hear it. Good morning. She's still sick, sticking around. You head to the kitchen to get breakfast. Your food is gone. Oh god. That noise was coming from the living room. Antily? Nobody's here. Some deep scratches are dug into the wood by the couch. Something is approaching. Oh wow. That sounds friendly. What's making that noise? It sounded like it was coming from the basement door. You go over to investigate. Mm. The cold wind is blowing through the hole in the door. You get goosebumps all over your arms. Do not look through the crack. What are you doing, bro? Get out of there. Is this a... Oh my god. <laughs> you wake in a cold sweat. Oh, shit. <laughs> It's raining again. They're taunting you with dreams of a sunny day. You get out of bed and head to the living room. You can still smell Gregor here. Should you have intervened with Karen? No. I made the right choice. It probably wouldn't have changed the outcome. No cap. It also might have led you to your death. Exactly. Outplaying the system, guys. I've made all the right choices. The couch is still comfortable even after Gregor imprinted on it. You, bro, what are you doing? You decide to take a nap, which quickly turns into sleep. Bro, I'm gonna get fucking. But you can't just sleep in Gregor's spot where he died. What the fuck? You must have woken up too early today. 
The cabin living room is pitch black. You pick up a flashlight nearby and it takes more than darkness. No, that's when you go back to sleep. Look at this. What the fuck is this? It's fucking Antelie. Oh, guys, I'm back. It's me, Antelie. Antelie? Oh, God. Oh, we found some. Hmm? You notice a note sticking out from one of the books? I know you've been ignoring my other letters, so I'm begging you. Please bring back my daughter safely, or I will need to get the others involved. I've left payments outside of the door and will pay any price. Please let her go. We don't have to involve anyone else. You take the mother note with you. You decide to lay back down on the couch to get the rest of your sleep. Wait, I need to look at the other note. God damn it. Day 17. You slept, walked again. You can hear Potato mumbling in the drawer. Oh, my Potato must be hella proud of me. Oh, it's you again. Tell me. In that first week, with the red-haired woman and others, where did you sleep? You think for a minute, but not, but come up with nothing. It's worse than I imagined. If I can be honest, it was truly horrific to witness. Still, nothing. You would routinely collapse in the middle of the hallway, sleepwalking into walls, or worse, going down into the basement. I can't believe you haven't broken your neck on those stairs yet. You seem to survive almost anything do i have that right must be that meat addiction <laughs> or something else would you share that secret with me ah oh, fuck you potato ah <laughs> still have some common sense left in you tell me what was the plan after locking her in the basement having her starved to death with three corpses already down there plenty of rainwater ha <laughs> ha She'll be much stronger than the last time you saw her. Go downstairs. Put an end to this. I don't care if you come back alive. Maybe the red-haired woman will let you. Will let all of us move on? Or will she act like you? You ignore Potato heading to the basement door. Well, you didn't ignore him. Just fucking listening to him. Oh, okay, buddy. All right, time to scrap. You you quickly do the math in your head and determine Karen will be dead in the basement. It's been enough days, right? You open the door and prepare for the worst. Oh god. It's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. <laughs> it's just a staircase, guys. You begin your descent. But we're going to hell. Something is approaching. Please do not crawl up the fucking stairs. Oh, don't fuck with me, bro. <laughs> We're good. It's safe. Can you hear me? I've been down here the entire time. It's so good to see you again. Oh my gosh, guys. Mariah's fine. There's plenty of bread down here. Why aren't you saying anything? I'll never forgive you for what you did. You put Antelope through hell. You desecrated my corpse. You gave them that disgusting hunger. Now fuck you, Mariah. <laughs> All of that. It's water under the bridge now. Antelope is down here. Come have some bread with us. They always try things like this. Their anger, concentrated near their grave, leads to trick, leads to tricks and traps. You're not falling for this one. Why aren't you listening to me? There's bread down here. Loaves of it. Fine. I won't stop you from finding the others down here. One piece of advice. Beware of Karen. Nah, I'm sure she's fine. She is ill beyond repair. Gregor will try to talk to you. Out of the reaching room. Antelope will try to talk to you into leaving the cabin. And Karen will rip the flesh from your bones. 
we'll talk again. You feel Mariah leaving the staircase. You go deeper into the abyss. Oh shit. The walls down here, they're dirt and soup. Something is approaching. Don't be caring, 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 don't be caring. I'm glad I found you. The rain outside has stopped. Did you hear that knocking? Another trap. Everyone's upstairs and wants to leave. Mariah was worried sick about you. You tell Gregor about speaking with Mariah. Guess I can't lie to you, huh? You just stood there while Karen took my limbs, did nothing. Well, it was gonna happen anyways. Fuck you, Gregor. Are you frightened by her? But Gregor, I gave you that goddamn blanket. I gave you the fucking blanket, Gregor. That was a fucking apology. If you won't come upstairs with me, please turn on the light when you reach the room. I want you to see the look on your face when that light bulb turns on. Oh, I want to see the look on your face when that light bulb turns on. Can you do that for me? You nod. Thank you. Thanks for letting me lick the bowls clean. That was enough to keep him at bay. We'll meet again soon. Beware, Karen. You feel Gregor leaving the staircase. You descend deeper into the abyss. The air pressure down here feels greater. How long is this fucking, fucking basement stairs? You're getting closer to Karen with each step. Something is approaching. It's fucking Angela, bro. Don't fuck with me. Nah, be Karen. Fuck that, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, thought you would still be fending off the glutton Gregor right now. You tell Anthony about meeting with Gregor. Oh, I was going to try to see if you wanted to pick onions with me. You shake your head. Guess there's no fooling you, huh? You survived this long, and now you'll need to fend off Kerwin. Okay, tell I'd rather... If I'd rather have you or her sticking around down here. You ask Antley where Karen is. Oh, she's just below us. Waiting to devour you. Oh gosh. Karen's been practicing on a butcher wing again. Maybe she'll start with your arms. Hehehe. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> down here, the whispers have told me about you. Can't even believe some of the things you've done. Worse than any war coin. So many whispers about those sorts of things. So many whispers down here. It ends at the bottom. Kerwin might be alive down here. But you won't be. See you again soon. You feel Ansley leaving the staircase. You grit your teeth and keep going. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. Look you. You feel, <laughs> you feel around the wall blindly and look at the light switch. Alright, let's go. Alright, bro. At this point, this is where you need to go all out. Right, this is where we need our fucking our transformation right now. Right here, right now. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, fuck you, cabbage, you asshole. <laughs> We've come so far proud of you. Cabbage, As leader cabbage. of the chomp pets, I wanted to let you know we have your back. No matter what happens down here, just call us out and we'll be there. Boy, boy. Honest? Boy. Wouldn't let you die down here. When you yeast expect that we roll with you. <laughs> you can't sneak up on me. But sneaking up on you, extremely easy. Are you deaf? Raspberry! That was pretty cool, even for me. Oh, my potato. Your ears have so much dirt in them, they could probably grow potatoes. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
We'll have to work on those jokes, Potato. Sure. Were you hiding in the basement room? The circumstances have changed. I wouldn't miss a killing floor. <laughs> killer for the world. <laughs> Just Daddy, remember down Daddy. here you can call on us. We'll help you out in the, in the blind. And, and if you get lost down here later, please avoid the room where it happened. I can't speak for the others, but I'd like you to forget what happened there. Mm. I don't think we'll ever forget that, Potato. But thank you for coming along with us. I wouldn't call it a change of heart because you really never had one, Potato. You should have rotted down here, but I'm glad you're here to help. Wish I had a joke here, but what did you what you did was no joking matter. That's enough. Chompettes, let's help out. Jesus. The Chompettes get in a position behind you, ready for what's next. You feel around the wall, blindly, and locate the light switch. Took you long enough. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> let's end this. Should have kept the door locked. Fuck sakes, boy, dude. Guys, I'm not an RPG pro. Do I go with the dodge first? Fuck it. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna save real quick, just in case. Dodge. Karen slashes at you with her knife. You dodge Karen's knife. Feeling the air hit you, you shouldn't be this fast. Karen looks you dead in the eyes. Karen licks her lips. Will you fit in the cauldron? Attack. You try throwing a punch. Karen easily dodges it. It'd be best to watch out for that knife. Alright, I guess I'm dodging. Fuck it, no! The cut is deep. This will need to be treated if you make it out alive. Karen catches her breath. A tear rolls down Karen's cheek. You should have never left Ukraine. Attack! You attack Karen with a lunge. Okay. You barely land the soft punch. Karen lunges at you. You've started to bleed. Karen is studying you. You should have killed me earlier. No chance of that now. Alright, Chompettes, I need your backup. Hey, as the leader of the Chompettes, can't leave you hanging. All of us are ready to help out. Help you out here? Yeah, now what, bitch, Karen? There's fucking talking vegetables now. I see you've ignored my warning to watch out for that knife. <laughs> Please survive this fight. We want to play hide and seek again. Chompettes, help out. Cabbage has filled you with hope. You gained 5 HP. This was an ideal time to talk to the Chompettes. Karen looks confused, though. Looks like Karen is plotting your next attack. Alright, dodge. Karen goes completely silent. Karen readies the knife. You're going to taste better than Gregor. What's the point of dodging? You should have kept the door locked. Fuck you, bitch. Karen. <laughs> With the attack. You barely land the, the soft punch, bro. Punch. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Karen laughs at you. Won't be burying you. So the Chompeds just fucking heal me? Like, Yo, you got anything else, Chompeds? Hey, it's me! Onion! No crying down here, okay? Let, let me look at those wounds! Blood, yeah. Blood of course! <laughs> Your eyes begin to water. What did I tell you about crying? You got this, champ! Good luck! Onion's words make you feel a little better, but only a little bit. You gain 5 HP. This was an ideal time to talk to the Chompeds. Ken looks confused, though. Looks like Karen's planning your next attack. Uh, dodge. Karen takes a break to study you. Should have kept the door locked. Bro, are you kidding me? Attack. Bro, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. You're going to taste better. Oh god, I'm dead. Your arm is bleeding, Karen. You're studying you. Should have killed me earlier. No chance of that now. Well, what the fuck do I do now? 
Rob Dan in it. Well, I'm looking at 5 HP to get. I'm just gonna keep talking to the chomp heads. I don't really care who dies down here. You're both pretty awful. Good luck. Potato's words cut pretty deep. It does make you feel better though. Game 5 HP. This is an ideal time to talk to the chomp heads. Can't look so you confuse it through. Looks like it cares to find me the next attack. I don't care, bro. I'm secretly everyone's favorite chomp head, but I owe all of this to my cousin Cornbread, Razel. You point out that Razel was one of the Onion's relatives. Oh, haha. Ha. It's getting harder and harder to recall the military members. Is Onion. Is Onion my sibling? You shake your head. Oh, haha. Ha. Good luck. Is she shaking attack now? Karen is mumbling to herself. Karen catches her breath. She looks at the door locked. Bro, does she not attack me if I keep peeling? But what if, what if I get her to have health and then somehow I just win though, is the thing. One more chomp pet talk. She, does she not, she's not attacking me when I talk to them. I can just restore all my health. Raspberry, always oh, Mary Raspberry is alive and created by cabbage. You know me, but I know I've never acted Mary. Correct. You nod. So are you going to devour the red hair woman when you win? Or leave her corpse to stink up the basement? We both know your answer. Let's end this. You feel a flood of emotions from the Chompettes. Anger, sadness, joy, determination. Your bones feel quicker, like your reflexes are improved. Chompettes have endured a second win inside of you. You get ready for Karen's next attack. Oh gosh. I made the right choice, boys. There's a fucking cutscene. Oh my, I'm Jackie Chin. I just stabbed her in the boob. I don't know if that was the boob. Dude, I made the right choice. Let's fucking go RPG Master, bro. Oh my, I'm ready for Persona 28. Karen quickly stumbles down the hallway, turning left at the end. You're hobbling after her, but the room is pitch black here. The rot of decaying flesh here is nauseating. You can hear the small echoes of Karen's footsteps disappearing below, making this room feel enormous. You can't see their eyes, but you can feel them. You're being watched. The staircase in the center of the winds downward spiraling into the abyss. You're getting lightheaded again. Gravity almost gets the best of you a few times as your work as you work your way to the bottom. Your shoes stick to the floor when you reach the bottom. The smell of mildew and something rotten makes you gag. You can barely make it out of the lines of the door frames in each direction. You need you head east, opening the door. You feel Karen's presence close by. Karen, oh, oh gosh, oh, that's the whole crew. Hey guys, it's me, Anthony, Mariah, and Gregor. Back together again. Twanged and dissected. The butcher. Of the hope has returned. Where's Karen? Lost in the abyss. Her wage blinds her. Ravenous. Ravenous. Completely ravenous. She will never be able to move on. Bound to this cabin by you. She will never escape. Those that die in the cabin are bound to, diff to different rules. Fleeing the West and nothing. Victims will always gravitate to this cabin. Always find a way to you. You wretch. You abomination. Of course. You whore. Turn the light. Turn on the light and savor your inhumanity. Turn on the light. Please, it's Willie Donkey. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Reap what you have sown. Mariah, Antley, Gregor, Karen. I'll never forget you. Wow. 
What what a spectacular ending, guys. Oh wait, there's an, there's one more scene. You hear talking upstairs. Thieves? You grab your flailing knife and silently go upstairs. You'll eat well tonight. Oh god. It's the game. The four look completely shocked at the sight of you. Wee. She doesn't look like she has the courage to speak. We've been lost for a few days. Your cabin is the only hut we've seen out here. Can we stay here for a few nights? You clear your throat and ask the questions you've asked thousands of times. Did you come on your own free will or were you sent? We were technically sent. Antony, we came on our own free will. The woman looks confident in her answer. They answered incorrectly. You clear your throat again, coughing profusely. You may stay in my cabin until you're ready to leave. Hmm. The group looks terrified of you. As they should be. What was it? That trail steep? Yeah. The group finally returns to normal. It's forced. It's forced, but they attempt to save a face. The walk was pretty brutal, but this cabin is amazing. Full kitchen, running water, it really has everything. Finally, a place I can read a book in peace. Oh, my peace. He doesn't know, guys. He doesn't know. You already know the rest of the story now, right? Wrong. Welcome to Nightmare Mode. If you survive, you will gain additional insight to the world of Cooking Companions, as well as unlocking a new game plus a Chompette only event. This mode is mostly a joke, so don't take it seriously. If you make it to the end, you'll unlock the Chompette's Cabin Courses, a Chompette only event free of humans. For the true Cooking Companions experience, this mode should be played in a pitch black room with headphones. Oh my god, that's what I'm doing. If you still need to max out your relationships, don't worry, you'll get the opportunity to do so in NG+. You should really make a manual save right now, don't hesitate. Okay, yeah, sure. Thank you for getting this far. Your bravery is commendable, and will be rewarded. Thanks for playing. Dear Dream Studios. Wow. Oh, almost forgot. Nightmare mode activated. You wake up in the bathroom again. Oh gosh, okay. I guess so we start. Oh, there's blood everywhere, guys. That's nice. It's the same shit. Out of toilet paper again. You find a strange note. I can feel the cold air crawling under the door. You got the strange presence note. There's so much blood. Oh god. Nothing in the mirror this time. Oh, that's why. Oh my, it's Sans! <laughs> this is my room. Do you see how dark it is? Oh, well, your room's 8-bit, dog. It's cold. But I can look at you. Look at me. Are you scared? Uh, yeah, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I click and run, I'm click and run. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I'm scared. You wake in a cold sweat. Your surrounding feels completely different. I think that's the end. Uh, I might play Nightmare Mode, I don't know yet. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I guess that's a little tease if I do play. Play uh, Nightmare Mode. Thank you guys for watching this kind of King Companions uh, playthrough. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, some scary moments, I'll admit. Uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And uh, adios.